Hey, if you didn't watch part one, basically what I'm doing here is designing all eight of Santa's reindeer in Anthroform. And also, I designed Rudolph and Santa later in the video, since everyone seemed to be voting that I do indeed give these guys their own Chloe Hatler spin. In the last video, I designed Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, and Vixen. I thought I had those four all figured out, but upon designing Comet, who we'll get to very shortly, I realized I was starting to develop a bit of a story and character dynamic around all of these guys. I was also talking to Bean about Comet, and when I showed her to him, he was like, oh yeah, she's definitely getting her Santa Slay Fly degree. And from that, a much larger idea formed. What if all these reindeer had to attend a university in order to become an official member of Santa's crew? The university would be called North Pole University, and you could get your degree in a large range of areas when it comes to being on Team Santa. You could get a degree in toy making, or letter sorting, or in the case of our lovely reindeer here, a degree in sleigh flight. Okay, let's get the previous four reindeer all caught up on this story. Dasher is 27 years old, and is the leader because what he lacks in seniority he more than makes up for in excellent skill. When it comes to communication, focus, strength, speed, etc, etc, he was a star student and has been leading the flight team for a good five years now. Dancer is 26, graduating NPU shortly after Dasher, and is second in command due to his strength and grace, as mentioned in part one. Prancer is 48, a senior flyer who's been on Santa's flight team for 26 years, the longest out of everyone else on the crew. And Vixen is 22, freshly graduated and excited for his first year of being on Santa's flight crew. He's a speedy little guy with a lot of holiday spirit. Okay, now that we're all caught up, let's start talking about our next batch of reindeer, shall we? First up, we have Comet. Yeah, so when I designed Comet, I wanted to give her kind of a nerdy, intelligent vibe. As we can see, if we look at the sheet I made showing all my initial ideas for each reindeer. Yeah, I literally just wrote intelligent exclamation <laughs> point. I initially was like, oh, I'll give her like a planet shirt and glasses. Obviously, she needs glasses. I ditched the planet shirt uh, so that I could instead give her a nice plaid shirt. And I think it looks really good on her. And of course, I kept the glasses idea because how could I not? Uh, but yeah, her design ended up giving just really hard. I'm studying for my university vibes. And so that's where this idea kind of started. And I was like, all right, if this were a series, she'd definitely be the main character. I'd say she's about 20 years old, so maybe in her sophomore year of North Pole University. Uh, but yeah, she is getting her degree in sleigh flight, obviously. It's gonna be a Bachelor of Science because, I mean, just look at her. She is a, a very sciencey gal. And I mean, her name is Comet, so obviously she loves space. I mean, stars, planets, all of it. She studies all of it. Definitely minoring in astronomy or something like that. And uh, yeah, she was super fun to design. The thing I was most looking forward to was doing that star around her eye, obviously, because she's Comet, and that was the, the big thing I wanted to do. And I don't think it could have turned out any better. It, it looks perfect. Uh, yeah, super proud of her, and I love her a lot, and she definitely gives smart main character vibes. Yeah, that's Comet. Next up, we have Cupid. In ancient Rome, Cupid was the god of love, uh, so we gave lots of hearts and stuff to this gal. Cupid is 21 years old, a year older than Comet, and so they're a junior at North Pole University. I wanted to give Cupid very lovable vibes, very happy, very positive. If we take a look at the design sheet, you'll notice that there's a head floating next to Cupid's name, and that is actually Dancer's head. And it's there because when I was drawing Dancer, I had at one point angled his ear to be low, and ultimately I was like, that's not Dancer, but I thought that it would work really well for Cupid. So I put that in the ideas for Cupid and I think it's quite perfect for her. Yeah, it just completes that lovey, like innocent, soft, kind look. And I also wanted to give them some heart antlers, incorporate some hearts in there, hearts on the clothing, lots of pink because love. Um, and I wanted their reins to look a bit different from dancers. So instead of silver bells, I gave her golden bells and gave her some cute little freckles. Yeah, overall, Cupid, very fun to design. I'd say, relative to the plot, Cupid would be the deuteragonist, most likely. If you don't know what a deuteragonist is, here you go. And uh, yeah, I think Cupid and Comet would be, would be stuck together quite a lot. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's Cupid. All right, next up we have Donner. All right, so Donner is 29. She's been doing this full time for a little while now. She graduated MPU uh, some time ago. 
And uh, when researching Santa's reindeer, in the original poem, uh, Donner was actually called Dunder, and then that was changed to Donder, and Donder is standard Dutch for thunder. So I was like, okay, I have to give her a thundery vibe. So I want to make her dark gray, give her a, a nice thundercloud on her shirt. When I think of thunder, I think of like big and loud. So I want to make her kind of muscular, specifically in the arms, just because that's how I imagine like a thundercloud is kind of shaped. So I kind of wanted to shape her like that. And I gave her some big, heavy antlers since she's she's a thundercloud, basically. <laughs> And then, of course, I gave her some yellow eyes for to show she's holding some lightning in her. And I'd say Donner is mm, grumpy, but not in a mean way. I mean, maybe kind of a mean way. And she acts like she doesn't like the youth and like they annoy her, especially newbies. But I think secretly she quite enjoys teaching and watching uh, students grow when they join Santa's team. So, you know, she might give the newbies a hard time, but... Ultimately, it, it makes her really happy to see them excel. And, I mean, obviously, she works out a lot. She's strong. That's uh, that's why she's on Santa's team, is she carries a lot of the weight. But yeah, if we reference the design sheet, basically, yeah, I said I wanted her to be strong and moody. And I wanted her ring colors to be yellow to get that, that lightning theme in there as well. I think the dynamic between Donner and Dasher and Dancer could definitely be interesting. Considering Donner is 29, that's only two years older than Dasher and three years older than Dancer, meaning they were all in school at the same time. And I think she definitely would have treated Dasher and Dancer as like underclassmen. She's like, I'm I'm in the senior class and you guys are younger, and so you don't you don't know anything. <laughs> but she'd probably get like outdone a lot by Dasher and Dancer, like in tests and things like that and she'd be kind of surprised like oh these guys are actually pretty good and so when she graduates and in a couple of years when dasher and dancer graduate it's to no surprise that she finds them becoming the leaders of santa's sleigh and i think she'd be pretty happy about it honestly because like i said she likes to see people grow and donner would definitely come to respect dasher and dancer quite a bit so yeah, that's Donner. I really love her. Honestly, I'd love to write some scenes with her. I don't know. She's she's a fun gal. Next up is Blitzen. I know I said I was going to be designing some reindeer gals in this video, but I wanted to get some non-binary rep in here. So Blitzen uses they them pronouns and is non-binary. Blitzen was super fun. I love, love designing the I'm so cool and everyone else is cool and life is just cool character. Going back to the research of Santa's reindeer, while Donner was thunder, Blitzen was derived from the standard Dutch word for lightning, so I had to include lightning themed things to them, obviously. Really fun designing their antlers, wanted to make them lightning-like, of course I colored them yellow because lightning, very much uh, lightning-centered character, super fun. I didn't even realize this, in the design sheet, I like put colors like red and yellow. I was just like, I don't know why red matches this yellow for the word lightning. And now all I see is lightning McQueen colors. I did binge all three Cars movies while drawing them. So, so that might have contributed to this design process a little bit. But yeah, for those wondering about their eye, I was thinking they got into a bit of an accident with lightning. Uh, maybe they were in science class or something and accidentally summoned lightning straight to their face and got their eye kind of swiped out by their namesake. So yeah, that would have been during college and I'd say that happened maybe honestly their senior year in college and they got held back because of it because they endangered a lot of people and they were brash and they were like, I want lightning and so they got lightning but they also got another year of college added on. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so Blitzen is 23 years old and in their fifth year at MPU, due to that freak lightning accident, they are super determined and motivated and skilled, I'd say. Uh, they are just also a little bit brash. And I want them to be a cousin to Donner, because Donner and Blitzen are kind of a duo when it comes to the thunder and lightning theme, and so they'd be Donner's cousin and Donner would find out that they're trying to get on Santa's team and they'd be like, 
what the heck? No, you, I like seeing people grow. I like seeing young people like grow into themselves and become themselves, but not you. I don't want you on this team. <laughs> like Blitzen is the one person Donner's like, okay, I can't, I cannot work with you. You are so annoying. <laughs> But yeah, I really love Blitzen. I just wrote to give them a cool guy fit. <laughs> so uh, I, I tried to do just that. And I think they do look very cool. And honestly, maybe they, they follow in Donner's footsteps a little uh, and look up to Donner subconsciously. I don't think Blitzen even knows they look up to Donner, but they do. I also put on the design sheet that they're sneaky. So, I mean, yeah, I'd say that fits right in with their personality. Uh, but yeah, that's Blitzen. Really, really fun time drawing them, designing them. The colors were a bit difficult because I wanted to give them like a yellower look uh, because of the whole lightning thing. But I still wanted the colors to be semi-realistic. So it was definitely a bit hard, uh, but I think it turned out pretty well. And that's Santa's eight reindeer. I had a lot of fun drawing. Oh, what? What? There's another one? Oh, right, okay. Yeah, so these are just the original eight reindeer. But for those who don't know, Rudolph was created a little bit later than Santa's original reindeer were. Whenever I think of Rudolph, I think of the 1964 animation, brings back lots of memories. Uh, but yeah, I always think about him when he was a kid, uh, with his adorable red nose. When designing Rudolph, I was thinking, he is not quite ready to be a college student. I'd say he's 14 years old. He's, uh, he's a kid still. <laughs> uh, but maybe he was taken to the, uh, NPU campus and was very inspired, um, and in awe of all the, the reindeer flying the sleigh. And obviously he was ridiculed for his red nose. Um, so that's why I wanted to give him kind of a shy, like sad almost look to him. Um, but yeah, that's Rudolph. I think it would be fun to include him in this story. I just don't know. Like if this was made into a real story, I'm pretty sure Rudolph is under like copyright protection. <laughs> so like legally, I don't know if he could be used in a story, but he was definitely fun to design for this challenge and uh, fun to imagine where his place would be in the story. I think it would be really cool, like there'd just be an episode with Comet and she'd like see these middle schoolers uh, on a campus visit and she's like, oh my God, these campus visits. <laughs> but then she notices Rudolph and his red nose, of course. And she's like, oh, that's very interesting. <laughs> yeah, that, I think that would be, that'd be a cute little episode. I actually asked in the previous video, what animal would Santa be? if he was a furry. And basically everyone said polar bear. And I mean, honestly, I'm embarrassed for even asking the question. Obviously he'd be a polar bear. What else would he be? Thank you all for opening my eyes because Santa being a polar bear is just absolutely perfect. Drawing him was so fun as like this big polar bear because polar bears are big and fluffy and Santa is big and fluffy. Yeah, so we'll just say that the Santa in my previous video was just a little dummy. Uh, just a test dummy for all the reindeer to practice with. But let's replace that guy with the real Santa. Yay! Look at them all. They're so awesome. I love them so much. Uh, these reindeer were super fun to design. Really loved doing all that research on Santa's reindeer, coming up with all the different color schemes. Uh, was just absolutely so much fun. Thank you all for your encouragement in the previous video and all the suggestions and just kind words. It really means a lot. Uh, and yeah, there's our eight reindeer plus Santa plus Rudolph. Might do some animations of these guys. Already did that dancer one and he was super fun to draw. I think a lot of these guys would be fun to animate. Yeah, there we have it. But you're probably wondering, oh, if some of these reindeer are in college, why are they on Santa's team? And I'd say they are doing it like for college credit. <laughs> so basically you can get selected when you're still taking your classes to uh, do, a, do a Christmas run with Santa and the real team and get some good college credit and get your name out there, you know? Uh, so yeah, Comet, Cupid and Blitzen, since they are all still in college, they would be seen on Santa's team, not as official members, but as potential members. So yeah, 
Thank you all so much for watching. I was blazing through making these designs, and if you joined my Patreon, you could all see them super early and give comments and advice on them because I think it's really fun to share all of my works in progress and uh, just get advice and feedback. And I mean, I get to hear your comments and you get to see my art early. It's a win-win. Uh, I'd really appreciate any support on there, and you also get your name at the end of my videos, like this. Thank you so much for your support, I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your month and year. Like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.